what up what up guys it is your boys hello back again with another video so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to download jetbeans ides for free yes you heard me right for free but there is a catch in order to be able to download and use the jetbeans ides for free you're going to have to have a student email address so if you do not have a student email address you might consider uh, asking your friend who's in university for them to give you permission to use their student emails so without further ado let's get to what the video is about so first things first you have to sign up in order to be able to register your account and you're going to sign up using this email address so jetbin uh, jetbin student discount yes sorry jetbin student discount okay so first link as you can see I don't know if my spelling was wrong there but anyways I'm sure you all get the gist I don't know what I'm saying but I just have to agree no I'm good So apply now. Right now we're applying for the free student account. Yes, I am a student. I am an undergraduate. Is this is computer science or engineering a major field in your study? Yes. Uh, email address. Uh, oh, as you guys can see, this is not my laptop. I bought this laptop from my brother and i borrowed the student email address for my sister so we can all see what it's like for a person who's registered how it's going to be like if you are registering the for the student discount for the first time so student email address is two, seven, eight, six, ten, ten. Six one. That's two. Okay, seven. Dot PC. Dot ZA. My bad. Last name. Last name. Yes, I'm well, from South Africa. No, I'm not under thirteen years old, guys. I'm not under thirteen years old. Come on, man. Come on, man. Put some respect on my name. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> so now we have to i have to go and confirm the email address so you send a confirmation link so this is the confirmation we have confirmed our account <clears throat> Username, just gonna say no more. password. Uh, well, that's none of your business. I'm still setting up the <clears throat> I'm 
still setting up the password. So yes, I do agree with everything. So what they're going to do, they're going to send you a confirmation email. After you click on the after you on the confirmation email, you receive a link where you are going to finish setting up your account. Then press submit. Everything gets submitted. Boom. Now I have a student license. As you can see, it's a legit, like legit, 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 legit license this is no pirate this is not pirated whatsoever you know because we are against pirating in this side of <laughs> in this side of youtube yeah i am captain i'm not against pirating do what you gotta do you know play with the cards you are dealt so let's just download one jet bean ide to show you uh let's just show you how everything is going to work so let's say download WebStorm. Let's download WebStorm. Let's download this. So So we're just going to wait for for a little while for it to finish and then after that <laughs> we'll be able to install and use the webstorm ide i just have to show you like how you are going to link the accounts because you have to confirm that you do have a license you know So as you guys can see, WebStorm is just finished. I just finished downloading WebStorm. So now it's time to open, install it, and see where we go from there. Let's go. Yes, please. Next. Next. Okay. Done. So which is stalling web storm for now. So I'm gonna pause the video. See you afterwards. So let's run web storm. Finish. So now I'm gonna show you how you can authenticate everything, you know. Because if you don't have a license, you know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Because if you don't have a license, you won't be able to use it legally. That is a problem. So let's go and log in again. Yes, sign in, please. Authorization successful. As you can see, guys, it's pretty easy. It's very easy. It's very, very easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's activate. then boom we're done we're done just like that you have yourself a powerful powerful ide not that what do you do what do you guys call this not a uh, visual studio code <laughs> just kidding just kidding <laughs> uh, <clears throat> just first project and start create it's very easy it's very easy to use Ease. So let's create a JavaScript file. Uh, name of the file index.js. Enter. Yes. So let's console dot log.
So there you have it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching.